Hey all this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are doing some more AP Physics 1 problems. Um, these are on harmonic motion. So as usual, I suggest you pause the video and try to do the problem on your own, and then come back after you've attempted it. So we see, as shown above, a 0.2 kilogram mass is sliding on a horizontal frictionless air track with a speed of 3 meters per second when it instantly hits and sticks to a 1.3 kilogram mass initially at rest on the track. The constant of 100, um, the 1.3 kilogram mass is connected to one end of a massless spring, which is a spring constant of 100 newtons per meter. The other end of the spring is fixed. Determine the following for the 0.2 kilogram mass immediately before impact. It's linear momentum and kinetic energy. So before, so they're kind of setting you up what's happening. So initially what happens, it has some energy and it has some momentum, right? Like this thing has no energy, no momentum. It's relaxed. This is energy and momentum. So uh, the kinetic energy is given by 1 half mv squared. This thing is mass of 0.2 kilograms. And its velocity is 3 meters per second. And I square it. So 9 times 0.2 times 0.5. Um, that's 0.9 joules. That's its kinetic energy. Its momentum is just equal to mass times v, which is um, 0.2 kilograms times 3 meters per second. And so that's equal to 0.6 kilograms meters per second. Okay, the units are important. Don't forget to write that down. B, determine the following for the combined masses immediately after impact. Well, what's conserved during the collision is momentum because there's no outside forces. If I consider this whole thing as a system, there are no outside forces. And um, this is an inelastic collision because they're stuck together. So all you know is the momentum's conserved. So the momentum is still 0.6 kilograms meters per second. All right, so that's part one. The linear momentum is not any different. However, to find the combined velocity of them two together, um, I need to know, well, to find the kinetic energy, I need to know how fast they're moving together after they, they stick together. And I can use that because I know its momentum. I know its momentum is m times v. In this case, the mass of the two things is, you see, 1.5 kilograms because it's both of them moving together, the 0.2 and the 1.3 times v. So its v is equal to 0.6 kilograms meters per second divided by 1.5 kilograms and that's 0.4 meters per second okay so now I can calculate their kinetic energy it's equal to 1 half mv squared 1 half the combined mass is 1.5 kilogram and its velocity we just calculated was 0.4 meters per second then I square that And I got 0.12 joules. Okay, so it lost quite a bit of energy, as you can see. Um, after the collision, the two masses undergo simple harmonic motion, and they're about their position at impact. Determine the amplitude of the harmonic motion. Determine the period of the harmonic motion. Well, to know the amplitude, I have to do some kind of energy conversion, right? I, I started off with this much kinetic energy. And the, the full distance it will go is when I convert all of the kinetic energy into potential energy in the spring. Because, like, basically, I want to go until this thing stops, right? This thing's going to go against the spring. It's going to push back, and um, it's going to slow it down. So um, it, when it has no kinetic energy is the furthest it will go. And that's based off of how much energy it started out with. So all the kinetic energy, 0.12 joules, has to equal one the the kinetic the potential energy in the spring, which is one half k delta x squared. Okay, so I can multiply by two, divide by k, so delta x, which would be the amplitude of the harmonic, which is kind of how far it's going to displace, is square root of two times 0 0.12 joules, and k, the spring constant, they told us was 100 newtons per meter. So compute that square root of 2 times 0.12 divided by 100. I got 0 0.0489, 0 0.490, 
um, meters, which is if you want to do it in centimeters would be 4.9 centimeters. Okay. Determine the period of the harmonic motion. The period is given by this equation, 2 pi square root of m over k. And I know all of these, 2 pi square root. The mass is 1.5 kilogram. Remember, it's the combined mass. And the spring constant is 100 newtons per meter. So 2 pi square root of 1.5 divided by 100. I got 0.77 seconds. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.